So I thought I'd try something a little different today and just uh, walk through where the current map is and a couple of the issues I found in the Easy FPS editor. So one thing straight off the bat, I've obviously retextured a couple of things. Basically added an orange box textures and gray map. Set up the doors so it's quite obvious which ones are locked and which ones aren't. Haven't got the audio set up for all that stuff yet, but it's all placeholder anyway. I redid the HUD a little bit as well. All the sprites are still placeholder as well. A room like this seems to work quite well. The idea is that this is meant to be a, a kind of a locker room in a submarine. The doors are using the old sliding sound effects, but yeah. I've decided to go with swinging ones because it's a submarine. Yeah, again, placeholder stuff, but feels quite satisfying, gives me the right kind of feedback. Quick little goofy thing here, like, oh, there's a locked door, and naturally my view is like, oh, there's a key. The keys won't look like that, because I'll need to work on different levels. I don't know if there's a way of changing the keys between levels. It'd be nice if I could, but I don't think there's a way of doing it. Kind of a little tutorial there. Wanted to give the player a few chances to, like, melee a few enemies first, so I made sure they were all, like, melee, so there was kind of an equal footing, uh, although the player's a little more equipped in the punch department. Give your health pack just in case you mess up the first enemy. Then there's an armory, get some ammo. This is something that's going to be a custom modifier because I basically want this enemy to catch you as you run around. And then you can take him out. Yeah, that's probably going to follow that line down there and be like sort of half the width that it is right now. I'm going to look into sticking some labels in because although this is a locked door, I want to draw more attention to it because it's important later on. But yeah, there's custom model in here. I, I'm not really sure how they, they don't receive bullet holes and the collision's a bit weird. So you can't like shoot through things. I'm not really sure about using too many of those going forward. Um, it was just a quick test. Let's go to this room. So I wanted to give a quick challenge up front so that there was actually uh, some priority there. Like I, I could shoot the guy who's running at me and then... Looks like you can peek enemies quite well. But there was obviously a, a, a choice to have there. There's an enemy running at me and one with a ranged weapon, so I shot the one with the ranged weapon first, but kind of messed up. That's the idea. Bit of health as well, just in case you mess up on that first challenge. Little window there. I quite like that. I probably want to mirror it here as well. It just look neater in the geometry. Again, another locked door. I want to kind of try and tie these two rooms together, but we'll see. More locked doors, the locked door. Hopefully players are going to realise that's the other side of the door they went through before, but maybe they won't. Oh, I'm out of ammo. <laughs> and this is kind of a mirror of the other side, so kind of making the space make more sense. Some ammo, because I assumed you'd need more. Now we're in the other side of that window. So if you're observant, you can get some more ammo here. Just a small thing, but I think that sort of stuff helps. When you come out here, I've got that like curve trying to sort of draw attention that way, but you can go anyway. It's just that will be a little bit quicker for you to move around the map. Of course, if you go the other route, you can pick up bits of health you might not have picked up before. So, I probably am expecting the player to remember quite a bit here, like going back to the start area where there was that initial locked door. I probably need to draw a bit more attention to it with signage and stuff. A little bit of health there, don't need it just yet. Start 
that was ah uh, <laughs> I thought that was better. Um, that was like probably one of the more tougher areas in the level so far. It took me a while to tweak the enemies um, to get to a point where I was able to have that many on screen and not get destroyed. But I think I've got found a sweet spot now, at least to my skill level. So I might need to turn it down a little bit more. Yeah, so I've got a few people who like sort of give you that itchy back feeling, which is good. This is the area where we've got some problems. Um, so I really like that guy who initially like, drops down. Um, it's, it's just kind of cool. Um, this bit's meant to be kind of scary because you can look either side, but there are some fairly big problems which I can show now. If I survive, which I may not. Nope. So, I mean, that is a problem anyway. Okay, so I've skipped ahead a little bit to that area that I think is a bit of a problem. Basically, what we've got is a, a normal elevation here using just the normal blocks, but then I've got these custom modifiers on the, on the left side here that are uh, providing these windows. There's also some custom modifiers on these um, inner slopes. The bug is that if you are to, say, um, stand within that sort of gr grid square, um, everything on that level, if it's above the ground level, will actually disappear. And also, there's, there's a bit of feedback issues here, so I'll just kill these guys. Maybe I won't. <laughs> no, I got him. Uh, you can see a bit of it there. So if I stand um, here... Bad example. Um, is it here? Yes. Yeah, so if I stand here in this mod custom modifier, everything on this level will actually disappear. That's not something I can really go with. It's the same with these windows as well, which is kind of worse because obviously I could probably square that off and it would be okay. But yeah, if I'm standing in these, yeah, that's that, that's just too frustrating. Um, I'm going to have to get rid of these and just make it op either open, like a balcony like this, which is fine, um, or square it off. I was going to die, so I didn't let them come up here, but um, if they had, I could have stood here and I wouldn't actually be able to see who was killing me, so... You can see there as an example, like they just vanish. So, yeah, if you're using custom modifiers, um, don't put them on the second floor, or you won't be able to see any sprites. It's a shame because I like stuff like this, but uh, this is basically the end of level. Uh, portal thing will be there, so you'll be able to like look and see where you need to go later. But I would recommend not doing that, at least for this version, for this jam. And uh, yeah, that was kind of just what I wanted to really highlight, um, show a bit of level. And it's obviously a bit of backtracking to get to the next area, but um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of highlight that issue because um, some people might not have seen it themselves. Of course, custom modifiers like this do work because they're on the ground floor. But uh, yeah. Um, I'll probably end it here because I'm still working on a level. Um, it isn't finished yet, so... Okay, thanks.